So I made a mistake in the last video near the end of it uh, that I caught when I was working on the next one. Um, and I'm not sure that it was that evident, but it's not how I would typically set up a building. So what I did was I showed you that when the machine room were in the when the machine room were in the basement, um, we wanted to send the car in this instance up to the first floor, and I added the control by event to that primary relay. And there was an assumption I made that I never explained, which was that the the detector in the machine room would would trigger zone 13. But I never had it on my spreadsheet or my panel program, right? Um, but I'm going to show you the mistake I made, and I'm going to show you what I would typically do. And hopefully, as the video goes on, the reason why will make sense. So I think it would have worked okay the way I had it. Um, just assuming that I add that smoke detector in the basement elevator machine room, it's got zone 10 in it because every device in the basement did. So if that affects outputs like strobes or something, okay, now it still has zone 10. But then, this is where I would add both of my relays. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this 13 from the output side of my primary uh, recall. So my primary relay, recall relay, is only going to trigger on 11. My alternate is only going to trigger on 12. And my hat is only going to trigger on 13. Again, I deleted 13 from the primary because after watching that video again, I'm like, wait a minute, that's not, that's not how I would do that. What I would do is for the machine room smoke, I would have it trigger 11 to send the car to 1 and 13 to turn on the hat. And at this point, that may not seem like it matters to you. You might think, well, well yeah, okay, but either way will work. And that's true, but the reason that I would do it this way is because in this instance, um, there's only one detector I've shown so far that's gonna that's gonna flash the hat. Excuse me. But let's say we had that same building, but now there's only a first. Now there's no basement, right? I just deleted the basement essentially. So my machine room is on the first floor, but there's no basement. Let's say we've got a smoke at the top of the shaft, and we've got a smoke in the elevator pit okay and let's say that the elevator company tells us that that those smoke detectors um, or I'm sorry the relays they they want two relays to fire so they want you to if, if, if you flash the hat that's fine you also have to tell it what floor to go to and so what we're going to do here is if the pit or the machine room goes off, we're going to send it to the alternate floor, which would be the second second floor. But if top of shaft goes off, it's going to send it to one. And again, we're going to turn on two relays, right? So my spreadsheet doesn't quite work because it's got some devices here for the basement and there's no longer a basement. But we can figure that. We can, you know, you guys see where I'm going with this. So we'll edit this. So for now this is first floor. Um, I'm going to get rid of 10. I'm going to delete all this stuff. I'm doing this on the fly, so bear with me. That was zone 1 was the first floor. Um, and then we're going to add a couple detectors here, right? We're going to add D31. We're going to add D32. So, um, these are both smokes. And D31 will be top of elevator shaft. 32 will be elevator pit. Okay, so as far as control by events, let's say that the top of shaft we're going to put in with the top floor, which was the fourth floor. And the pit, now that there's no basement, we're going to put in with the first floor. Um, so those are their primary zones, but those are not going to recall the elevator, right? So for the top of the elevator shaft, we want to send the car to 1, which is primary recall. That's going to be zone 11. And we want to flash the hat, which is going to be 13. I don't know why the formatting works like that, but... Then for the elevator pit, 
we want to send the car to two, right? We want to get it. There's no basement, so we want to we want to get the. Let's see. There's no basement, so when this pit goes, we're going to send the car to the second floor, which means we're going to trip. Um, alternate recall. So we're going to throw in 12 there on this smoke detector, but we still need to flash the hat because it's in the pit. So we're going to also put 13. And so this may not seem like a, a big difference, but as I was watching that video, I honestly, I almost deleted the video because I was like, ah, this isn't how I would do it. But then as I, as I thought more about it, I'm like, well, I never really explained how that one, um, how that one smoke detector was zoned. So assuming that was zone 13, the way I did it would have worked. But the reason I do it the way I am now is because it gives you more flexibility. If you just give these recall relays one zone, then you could determine at the smoke detector level or at the input level what you want them to do. So real quick, we're just going to go, you know, sometimes I don't have a good feel for if I'm going too quickly or too slowly. Um, but when you have such a broad audience, it's kind of hard, you know, some guys are probably if if they even stayed this long, you know, this would be boring to them, but other people, you know, I might be moving too fast. So I'm just going to kind of reiterate w what I did here. I removed having two inputs, I'm sorry, two zones or control by events from the rel from the relay side. So primary is always zone 11, alternate's always zone 12, and flashing hat is always zone 13. And then at the smoke detector side, if I want to turn on more relays, I just add them to the control by event. So for the top of shaft, I'm going to turn on zone four because it's kind of the fourth floor. Um, and so I'd turn on those strobes or whatever that might be doing. Maybe it's just like a label at an enunciator or something. Um, I'm turning on 11, which is my primary recall relay, right? So I'm going to send the car to one. And when the top of shaft goes off, so I'm also going to flash the hat for the pit. I'm going to send the car to one. I'm sorry, I'm not going to send the car to one. For the pit, I'm going to send the car to two because I'm triggering my alternate recall and I'm going to flash the hat. And now I need to edit my first floor machine room. So that's on one. That's going to basically mimic the pit. So I'm going to send the car to two and I'm going to flash my hat. 